What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be doing a Larry and Lori rank 30 guide. I'll tell you the best build, the best maps and the mistakes I made while I was grinding him. So get ready and enjoy the video. Alright, starting off the video, I'm just going to say that instead of saying Lori and Larry, I'm just going to be saying Larry because I don't want to be mixing up my words non-stop and having to do a lot of retakes, which I do not want to do. I already got confused. I said Lori instead of Larry. It's Larry and Lori. So basically, I'm just going to be calling him Larry throughout this video, just so you know, guys. Alright, so starting off the video, I'm going to be going into which build I think is the best for Larry. Now, his build really depends on which mod you're playing, and I will be doing a free free guide and a solo showdown guide because I was using both modes, and I will name the reasons later on in the video. Anyways, to start it off, let's start with which gadget I think is the best for Larry. I think Larry's best gadget is the one that heals him. It is because I never used the other gadget, so if you are using the other gadget, then go ahead and keep on using it. I just never tried it out, so I don't know how good it is. Now, I would only suggest to be using the heal one for every build, unless you already like the other one. But other than that, you should be using heal. So now, let's go into the gears, because you can use them in any build. So, the gears that I would recommend you to use the most would be either shield, damage, plus one gadget, or speed but only go speed if you are playing on a bushy map all right so now let's go into his best star powers now if you are going to be playing on any mode except heist you want to be using this shield star power and it looks like this what it does is basically it converts all the damage to lori or the clone i don't know what his name is i think it's lori so i'm going to say lori so yeah that's what it does now, if you're going to be grinding Larry in Heist, you want to be using the other star power. And this just makes him game breaking in Heist. Basically, I'll tell you what it does later on, but trust me, you want to be using the reload star power. Now that we're done with the build, let's go into which maps are the best for Larry. If you're going to be playing free free, Honestly, like any map is really good for Larry except those bushy maps, which I wouldn't really suggest playing him there, but he is even good in those maps. So just honestly, just play on any map in free free. Same goes for showdown, but I'll suggest you which maps I think is the best for solo showdown or dual showdown. So these are the maps I think are the best for solo showdown to play Larry in but you guys can just switch it around honestly any map is really good for him so yeah here are the maps i would suggest playing larry in all right now that we're done with that let's go into the mistakes i made while grinding larry first of all after grinding larry to rank 30 in solo showdown You'll be the biggest Edgar hater in the world. Now, the reason I was switching between Solo Showdown and Free Free was because of Edgar and he is your biggest enemy. Just imagine, you're chilling, you are winning that competition, you're having 4 cubes, you think you're doing pretty well. Then you see a 1 power cube Edgar jump out of a bush, onto you, out of nowhere. He kills you because Edgar is the biggest counter to Larry and he starts spinning while spamming thumbs down which wants to make you break your own screen. Anyways, all jokes aside, avoid Edgar at all costs. The amount of matches I lost and win streaks I lost to Edgar's made me furious while I was grinding Larry. One way I figured out to escape Edgar's is... If you have your super somewhere, activate that gadget and make sure you are standing far away from your super. What I'm trying to say is like in reach. So basically you don't hit the wall, you go to your super instead. So when you are placing that super in solo showdown, make sure you are placing it 
in an open area not in a closed area where there are walls because if an edgar jumps on you and you do gadget you're just going to be stuck on a wall instead of going to Lori or larry whatever his name is now larry also kind of reminds me of like playing piper it is because if you're playing piper sometimes you need to predict where a brawler is going so you have to be predicting your shots to shoot like in front or you think they're gonna go left so you shoot a bit left that kind of works the same with larry you kind of need to predict where you think they're gonna go so yeah larry is kind of the same as piper but not really so make sure you are aiming your shots that's what i'm trying to say so another thing that can be really useful for any game mode is you can also use larry for area control for example if you want to restrict an area and you don't want brothers going through it or trying to go to it you can just start shooting it and after one shot it's going to be another one because that's how his basic attack works so yeah keep that in mind Another thing I noticed and would like to talk about is from 0 to 500 trophies, I grinded him in Hunters and then I switched to Solo Showdown. From 500 to 900 trophies, I grinded him in Solo Showdown. Then I was starting to get pissed off because I was stuck at 900 because of those Edgars. So I decided to be grinding him in Free Free for a while. So I was grinding him in a free free and what I noticed is you can get into matches with multiple Larry. So if you are planning to grind him in free free, it may be a good idea to grind him solo. But at the same time, it can also be a bad idea because I also noticed that sometimes when I was playing, if you are playing solo and also the other team is playing solo, like by themselves trying to get just playing with randoms, then you're going to be getting matches with the same amount of Larry's. I don't know why that always happened. And if the other team is playing a team, then it's possible for you to have like three Larry's and the team will have a normal team. Now, if you are going to be playing Larry in free free, the team I would suggest the most to be used is Larry, Edgar, and any other brawler. I would probably suggest like a Cordelius. And this team can be really OP because the Edgar can target the Larry's and the Cordelius can also stop Larry's and then there's a normal Larry. So yeah. Now another thing you should know about Larry is that if you have a super on the ground and someone attacks you, I'm pretty sure they don't charge their super. So yeah, keep that in mind. Now let's go into the Larry 1v1 interactions. So the best way to kill other Larry's is first of all it's kind of difficult like for me in my opinion versing kits or miko's is a lot easier 1v1 than 1v1 with larry and what i mean is the same brawler now in my opinion i think that it is more luck based but a trick you can do is to aim your shots and if you aim your shots and try to predict where the larry is going that will make the Larry at a disadvantage. Now, another thing you can do is wait for Larry to waste all his shots. And when he wastes all his shots, go ahead and start shooting all your shots. So basically, just hold your ammo and then just unleash it all at once. Also, another thing you want to do is to get your super as fast as you can or to hold your super. And then when the Larry is attacking you, spawn your super and attack him. Now what this does, it doesn't allow him to get his super, but you have your super ready and all that damage goes into your bot. Alright, so now that we're done with that, let's go into which brawlers you should avoid while playing Larry in Solo Showdown. Now you know which brawler I'm about to say and it is Edgar. Edgar will make you lose a lot of matches in Solo Showdown and I am not kidding, you're gonna see if you start playing Larry in Solo Showdown. Now, another brawler I would avoid in Soul Showdown is Miko. Miko can be kind of hard to eliminate because he will just jump everywhere and then when you run out of ammo, he's going to try going for you. So, first of all, I would only suggest to be using like one ammo if you are going to try to attack him because if he does try to attack you, then you have all your ammo left. Another thing is try doing that trick I told you about restricting an area. So yeah, that's all you can really do for Miko. There are some other stuff, but I don't know how to explain it. 
All right, so I think I can try to explain it. Basically, when Larry shoots, there's one and two. What I'm trying to say is it attack once and then attacks again. So the second attack would be able to hit Miko sometimes because it kind of catches them off guard. So sometimes you want to be going for that second shot damage instead of going for the first one. And I probably just made no sense. So yeah. All right. Now that I thought about it again, I think I know how to explain it. The second shot has a wider area damage. So it catches the Mikos off guard so you can deal damage to them. Now the short version of that would be Larry's second shot has a wider area so the Mikos get confused when they get hit. Now that we're done with that, the next brawler you should avoid is invisible kits which is impossible so be careful of invisible kits. Yeah I don't know why people still play kit, I'm very surprised to see kits in solo showdown. But basically if you see a kit go invisible then just start doing area control and shooting really close to yourself because you have that second shot that can be really useful sometimes all right so i think i said basically everything i remember while playing larry in solo showdown so now let's go into why you should be using the reload star power in heist if you are going to grind him in heist so if you are wondering why you should be using that reload star power on heist is because that star power works on the heist and basically what it does is if you aim Larry's super on the heist and you shoot Larry's super on the heist and that bot starts attacking the heist, you'll basically have infinite ammo because after he shoots the heist it reloads to you and you can just non-stop use ammo which will finish the safe really quickly. And yeah, this is how it looks like. guys for watching this video i really appreciate it if this video did help out then consider leaving a like otherwise see you next time if you are going to watch any of my videos and goodbye